In a significant move to modernize its military capabilities, Bangladesh is currently in advanced negotiations with France regarding the procurement of two batches of Dassault Aviation's Rafale fighter jets. Reports from Avion's legendaires highlight that these discussions, led by the interim government under Prime Minister Mohamed Yunus, aim to enhance the Bangladesh Air Force's, BF air defense capabilities, maritime strike power, and counterattack operations. While the BEF has not explicitly denied the rumors surrounding this deal, members of parliament in Dhaka are adopting a more cautious stance. Some officials suggest that this measured response is a strategic maneuver to keep negotiations confidential, allowing for greater flexibility in discussions with France. The negotiations reportedly focus on two distinct batches of Rafale aircraft. The first batch includes four Rafale F-3 R jets, three two-seaters and one single-seater, sourced from the French Air and Space Force's existing inventory. The second batch consists of eight new Rafale F-4 single-seaters, showcasing the latest advancements in fighter technology. The Rafale F-4 standard marks a significant upgrade in both connectivity and combat performance, featuring enhanced network capabilities that improve situational awareness and decision-making in contested environments. Notable advancements include the upgraded RB-2 ASA radar and Talio's targeting pod, which provide superior detection and tracking capabilities for both air and ground targets. The Rafale is armed with long-range meteor missiles, scalp cruise missiles, and precision ASM bombs, significantly bolstering its strike capabilities. Additionally, the Scorpion helmet-mounted display offers pilots augmented situational awareness, while the Spectra self-protection system enhances operational freedom and defense against threats. The journey toward acquiring new multi-role combat aircraft began in March 2017 when Bangladesh issued a tender for eight new jets, with an option for an additional four units. The contract, valued at approximately 2.5 billion euros, has seen the Rafale competing against the Eurofighter Typhoon. The recent political climate, particularly Prime Minister Yunus's administration's favorable stance towards French offers, may be influenced by French President Emmanuel Macron's historic visit to Dhaka in September 2023, the first by a French head of state in over three decades. Although no formal announcement was made during Macron's visit, France's keen interest in establishing a strong foothold in the strategic market remains evident. In this competitive environment, defense suppliers are highlighting their respective strengths while addressing potential weaknesses in their rivals' offerings. One notable concern regarding the Rafale is its service within the Indian military which raises apprehensions in Bangladesh about the implications of sharing suppliers with a neighboring country. Critics argue that employing the same fighter as India might place Bangladesh at a tactical disadvantage in future conflicts, given India's established knowledge of the Rafale's capabilities and limitations. The BEF has set high standards for the new combat aircraft it seeks to acquire. Key requirements include twin-engine configurations with a minimum dry thrust of 5,500 kg and over 8,000 kg with afterburner capability. Furthermore, the aircraft must feature at least eight hardpoints and a payload capacity of no less than 5,000 kg. Advanced avionics are essential, necessitating electronically scanned array radar with a range of 150 km for air-to-air -air engagements and 50 km for air-to-ground missions. Other specifications include an integrated electronic warfare suite, an infrared search and track system with a 50 km range, a helmet-mounted display, and a modern glass cockpit. The anticipated contract would not only encompass the sale of aircraft but also include maintenance, training, and a comprehensive set of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground munitions. Deliveries are expected to occur in two phases, with the initial batch of four jets being delivered first, followed by the remaining units within 18 to 24 months. Despite the absence of official confirmation regarding the Rafale deal, Bangladesh's long-standing interest in Western defense equipment is noteworthy. The country had previously considered acquiring helicopters from Bell Helicopter, but ultimately decided against it. As part of its Force Goal 2030 program, BF has explored options such as the Eurofighter Typhoon, yet the Rafale has consistently remained a favored candidate. In a notable shift away from Russian military hardware, Bangladesh declined an offer from Ikoyan MiG-35 fighters in 2021, signaling a clear move toward Western aerospace solutions. The ongoing negotiations between France and Bangladesh for the Rafale fighter jets reflect a significant evolution in the geopolitical landscape of South Asia. As Bangladesh strives to modernize its air force and enhance its defense capabilities, the outcome of these discussions could pave the way for a robust partnership with France, bolstering the country's military strength while fostering greater regional stability.